Oh, more than 700 Alberta children known to the child welfare system have died in the past 14 years. The number was released by the Human Services Minister today. As Tom Vernon explains, it's what the government calls the first step to reversing that number. Nothing, nothing, nothing can, com can replace a loving family member's loving embrace to a child. It's an emotional plea from a minister new to a very challenging file. Manmeet Bueller is Alberta's new human services minister, which oversees a child intervention system he admits needs fixing. So he's formed an expert panel to start making real changes. To improve information sharing, focus on the root causes that bring children into care, support research that will guide in implementation. He's taken one more step, releasing the total number of children known to human services that died between January 1999 and this past September. It ranges from children with a parent or sibling in the system to children in direct care. The number is 741. I wanted to do it, get it out, get it open, and commit to a level of transparency we have not seen before, and then focus on every single child that we can do something better for. NDP MLA Rachel Notley says she's been asking for years to make this number public, each time being given a much lower number. Did they not know the answer to that very simple question, or were they intentionally not telling me the answer? And either way, that raises some very serious concerns about how much this government knows about the job it's supposed to be doing. The release of these numbers comes as we learn of yet another death in Alberta's child care system. An Edmonton woman tells us her daughter died in a group home this past weekend. Now, the minister confirms that there has been a death, although says he cannot go into any further detail. Notley insists the minister is free to share much more information than just that. I think what it shows is that the go-to place for this government and for, for staff in this government is to hide and keep secret. It's an involuntary, knee-jerk reaction for people under this Redford government. The minister insists he wants the truth to be known. He wants families to be able to speak out when a child dies. And that is his intention. I'm telling you, I want this changed. The round table's just around the corner and we're going to change it. Tom Vernon, Global News. Now that roundtable discussion will be held January 28th and 29th and it will be broadcast online.